Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be going over basic configuration of VLAN access maps. I'm sure most of you are comfortable and familiar with access lists and how those operate uh, being applied inbound or outbound on interfaces and the way they work on a switch or router. One of the things we run into with intra-VLAN uh, connectivity is the fact that an access list is not going to affect that sort of traffic because it's not going to see within the VLAN uh, where that traffic is going inbound or outbound. So we have to define the traffic that we want to filter using an ACL but then apply it to an access map uh, and say which VLANs we want to use for filtering. So you know, there's several different scenarios where this may be necessary. Uh, you could have a company that didn't really think out their topology or their layout too well, uh, and they don't have their VLANs separated by departments. They could have it separated by floors, and you have several different departments per floor. And that's kind of what we'll be taking a look at here is uh, in a scenario where you've got a company that has uh, several different floors and on one floor you could have say uh, engineering, a marketing, a sales department and you you might not necessarily want each one of those departments to have access to each other's resources. Uh, for basic connectivity purposes here I just have two computers set up on uh, e each end of the network here so we'll say host A may belong to uh, engineering and host B could be the sales department or HR. It, it's kind of beyond the point here, but uh, I have three physical switches set up. A Cisco 3550 which is acting as our distribution layer switch A and then two 2950s which are acting as the access layer switches my laptop is residing off of the fast ethernet 05 port on access switch A and then there's another computer acting as the remote host or the host in a separate department but on the same floor is host B. We can see the IPs that we have here uh, as far as the VLAN 1 switch virtual interfaces on all of the switches and our individual host blocks here are within the same I guess logical subnet because I can ping from my host here all the way across to each one of these uh, SVIs on the switches as well as the host. Now I kinda have it broken down into separate blocks here you can see uh, the host block for engineering will say is the 192.168 1.0 so we've got a maximum of uh, 14 hosts here that's a 16 uh, host subnet block there so from 0 to 15 is what that block will cover but our only usable hosts are 1.1 uh, through 1.14 and then on the uh, sales or HR block that we have over here we have from the the 192 subnet so the 28-bit mask, which will cover usable hosts from uh, 1.193 to 1.206. You can get these numbers by uh, our network address is 192, and if you add the 16-bit uh, mask, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not the 16-bit mask, but the 16 uh, host block there with the the slash 28. Uh, subnet mask that would bring us to 208 that would bring us to the next subnet of uh, 208 but our broadcast address is going to be 207 so the actual usable address block subtracting the network address of the 192 and the broadcast address of 207 brings our usable hosts down to 193 through 206 and a little bit of jumbled subnetting there, but just want to give you a general idea of how I've broken it up just to demonstrate filtering the traffic. Uh, 